It is a busy afternoon here at Universal Studios. Spring break going on, who knows what else, concerts, all the good stuff. But it is after four o'clock and with the Premier Pass, we have Express Pass. Time to go see if we can end up riding today. I think we got about five hours to squeeze in as much as we can. Let's do it. You know you're at the park too often when you can say it's still Mardi Gras and I still have a lanyard and I'm just gonna eat that food now. The best part of Universal Express Pass after four. Even with a 55 minute wait, we were on and off the mummy in 20 minutes. Last time we were here, we did not have the best success with riding Fast and the Furious. Again, we know it's not supposed to be one of the greatest rides, but we're gonna give it a go again today and see just how bad or good it is. No, I definitely get the feeling we're signing up to break some laws. I gotta be honest, I'm pretty sure I missed the joke on this one. That might have been the most terrible ride I have ever been on. The intent that Universal had was really, really, really strong, and that ride missed the mark. One thing I do wanna add though is it is worth stopping to check out Fast and the Furious. The pre-show, the lines, all the cars that are on display, that is pretty cool. So I will take back my hatred for the ride a little bit, and instead say the actual attraction is good from start to finish when you get in line to when you come out here to the plaza with the cars. The movement part of the ride is what really, really needs help. I would do it again, check it out, and check out all the interesting things in the garage and out on the loading dock, but I almost wanna just skip the ride part of it. I don't know, it kind of seems like I can't come to Universal without park hopping my favorite way. So we're heading on over to Islands of Adventure, Hogwarts Express style. Doesn't make a very good secret for nine and three quarters when there's a line to get into it. Why does the train come in backwards? Oh, 
So right here, right now, is where Ed should insert any of the clips where I say, that's the best way to park hop. We actually decided to hop out of line for the butter beer because we decided we wanted time to enjoy it and instead went over to check out Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey right here inside Hogwarts. So now we're heading back down into Hogsmeade to jump in line for our butter beer and take a few minutes to enjoy it. Mmm, butter beer. Just for reference, the only way to drink butter beer is regular, frozen butter beer is for losers. Uh, that's not true. Frozen is so much better. <laughs> all right, if we're hitting all the thrill rides after four, before we call it a night, we're definitely gonna have to do the Hulk. Let's go see how that goes, because it used to be one of my favorite rides, and I hear it launching right now. So we'll see how this turns out to end the night. That was fun. I'm dizzy. Did I say I was dizzy? Well, that was a fun night at Universal Studios tonight. Rode a bunch of rides using our After Four Express Pass, and now the mass exodus to the car, which is always fun. But remember, if you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment about your favorite ride at Universal Studios down below. Subscribe. Hit the bell next to it to be notified every time there's a new video. And since that is missing, make sure you share.